Hello and welcome to Raven's Plains. My name is Raven Black. Uh, we're here at Z98 to take a flight over to 84 to test out the uh, X Plane 11.50 Beta 11. And uh, we're switching things up today. We're going to be flying this plane, uh, Piper Arrow 3, and we're going to be flying that over uh, across to over uh, Grand Rapids uh, or GRR and then over to 84. Um, I figured we'd try out a new plane, and uh, also we have uh, weather, uh, a little bit of weather. You can see that I have turned on. This is the real weather in Grand Rapids, or in Michigan, I should say, right now, at this airport. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show off uh, Beta 11. I know it's so close to 10, but Beta 11 really has uh, solidified what they've been working on and uh, it just seems like an overall better experience uh, currently right now this is on the unstable builds on Steam but uh, this thing's definitely going to be bumped up to the regular beta uh, they said once uh, another beta comes out but this one is very stable so let me get in the plane and uh, we'll check it out All right, let's uh, close this up here. Watch the door. And uh, make sure we have a tank selected. Full mixture, unlock that. All right. And then uh, we want strobe, uh, beacon. Might want power for the starter. <laughs> All right, we got power going. All right, plane is going. Avionics coming on. This thing's cool. This is uh, one of the options you can turn on in this plane. This plane is made by V-Flight Air. It's one of their older planes but they keep updating it and uh, it's uh, it's been getting really good actually. Whoops. Continue. Alright. So uh, we're going to turn on the GPS here and then we're going to put in... Whoops. Ah, crap. Um, this happens to me from time to time, but if you just go into plugins, reality XP, pick that one, say hide window, it'll go away. And as I do it again, or you can just bury it down there, that always works too. Uh, flight plan, we're gonna go menu, uh, catalog, menu, import. And we're going to 84, activate, overwrite the current plan. Boom. So now, um, let's check the messages. As long as these two lines uh, show up, it does say GPS, but as you can see, it seems to be a little broke for some reason. Uh, I am going to go over here. You can pop this out and turn on the flight director turn on nav. Notice how it says nav fail, but it does work. I don't understand why it has an issue with this. Um, and then that's all we'd have to do for that right now. Alright. So we have that. We'll do uh, take off flaps. Take off flaps set. Tap the brakes. Mosey on over to the runway. Yeah, I've purchased uh, a lot of planes uh, that I haven't been flying in the stream, so they're on in my videos. So I'm gonna start using a lot of different different planes. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a new series, just talking about uh, what planes are really good for VR and which planes work really well for VR. And uh, should look for towards that for in the future. All right, pull on out to the runway here. Oh, I forgot to get the ATIS, so we'll line up here. 
also uh, bust out the frame rate counter so we can see that and the FPS is really good actually not too bad looking around yeah staying pretty solid and uh, look at the ATIS here which uh, is going to be 11872 Oh, there's also headphones here, to uh, be able to hear it better. Wind 230 and 11, visibility 8. Sky condition 7900 view, temperature 22, dew point 1. Altimeter 2975. 2975, so press the barrel button here. And uh, so let's rotate this 2975. It's roughly around there. All right. And uh, everything's lined up. We're ready for takeoff. So let's get this plane in the air. climb up to about uh, 2,500 yeah I still get a, a little bit of lag when I uh, look back at the airport uh, that's still there yeah it drops down to like 21 um, I have a feeling I know what it is I'll be doing some experimenting with that a little bit later um, unfortunately, I think I just have to kind of de-res some of the ground textures, but that's kind of my favorite part of, of that airport. And same with AD4 that we're flying towards. So we are coming up on 2500 here. I'll pull this up. So I'm going to turn the autopilot on. And we will turn the altitude on here. All right. Now we're going to be making our way to uh, Grand Rapids. Now this is going to be a pretty short flight today. I just wanted to show off uh, on Beta 11 and it, it runs really smooth. Uh, everything's in the green. I'm going to swap tanks here. Oh no, that's not swapping tanks at all. That was uh, <laughs> turning off the tanks. <laughs> I watched the <laughs> Pressure and everything just drop. I'm like, uh oh. Uh, yeah, it is kind of hard to see being down there in the corner, but so yeah, I do like the the minor upgrades. This plane, it's an old plane, but uh, having the uh, digital, having the glass in this cockpit, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe, and you can follow me on Twitter at Ravens Plains, and find me on Facebook uh, at Ravens Plains as well, and uh, you should join the Discord. Uh, I post a lot of stuff from uh, livery that I was working on with this plane, as well as uh, stuff that's going to appear in my videos, uh, and you can find that in the link in the description below. But yeah, I've only flown this plane a couple times, but uh, I do enjoy it. It seems to be... Uh, Pretty well made. It needs a lot of right rudder on takeoff. I don't know if that's a Piper Aero thing or that's just one of the quirks of this plane. But a lot of right rudder. The frame rate seems to be solid. Yeah, Beta 11 seems uh, really good. I think I'm only having 
some complications due to my custom airports and there is some things I can do to kind of crunch them down so I'll be working on that and there's uh, Grand Rapids out there or KGRR and uh, we'll be flying over the top of it it uh, doesn't have a lot of custom work done to it it has ortho at 19 and it also has a tower that I built a while back But as you can see, loading all those assets in seems fine, very smooth. It has a small little runway over there that's all asphalt, that's uh, for the small planes. And any kind of flight training that goes on at this airport will be done off that runway. And uh, yeah, down there you can see the, uh, the tower that I built a while back off the tower that's at Grand Rapids. Alright, we're coming up on 84, which is over there somewhere in the haze. Hats off to the X-Plane dev team for you know, really getting VR uh, sped up and just running smoothly. So we make our way to 84. When I get her down to about, you know, uh, 2,000, maybe a little bit less than that. About 1,500 is where I need to be. So we come down out of the sky. So the airport should be over there. Yep, yep. It's uh, unhappy that we're landing without landing gear. We're not even there yet. Let me get back on my pedals and get ready for this landing. We're going to see uh, if this thing has problems loading stuff. slowing down a bit so we're on the R nav now if anyone knows how to turn off the landing gear beeping uh, let me know uh, this button doesn't seem to, to do anything for it. it doesn't even light up but I'm pretty sure that's what's complaining about Okay, now we got some some lag as it's loading stuff in. The frame rate drops quite a bit here. I'm still loading. There's the airport. And now it's fully loaded, so it's just that minor little bit they haven't totally got, but so we cut the uh yep, we put the gear down here. been watching the finer points which is another YouTube channel uh, using some of his techniques on this landing here uh, seems to help out a little Touchdown there, not so bad. A little squirrely on the uh, entrance though, I'm trying to keep center line. Um, yep. But here we are at 84, and the uh, frame rate's great, everything is great. Landing felt good. Uh, taking that corner a little fast. So yeah, beta 11 is uh, it's 
but good. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of loading and stuff, but not, nothing too bad. You can't really see it in the headset, it just feels smooth. parking brake. Well this has been uh, the preview of Beta 11. It's, uh, it's really solid. It's coming along well. Uh, hats off to the X-Plane developers. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the skies.